black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Eat good, live well, stay true. What is going on, you guys? Back with another mukbang today. Gonna be doing a another hookup story time as well. It's a little bit funny, kind of interesting. Uh, should make for a good tale. Obviously, in front of us, you saw come together a Mexican sort of inspired, uh, like tater tot fry, cheesy fry type thing. Um, super delicious. I, I do wish that I had some beef on here, but the beef with that is that I went to my friend's wedding last night. I'm feeling some type of way today. I just did not want to put in the effort to, to do the beef. It just seemed like it would be too much. And uh, yeah, so I just was lazy about it, but I think it should still be delicious. So, so uh, let's get into these and then get into the story and uh, just, you know, see how it unfolds. Okay. I feel like we got to get, yeah, that's that should be a good everything bite. Still got the steam coming off. So we got Valentina on here. We got some taco sauce. We got uh, the cheese, of course. We got some salsa verde. Got uh, lettuce, tomato. Uh, and I think that basically sums everything up. Amazing hangover treat. I was living that wedding life last night, so. You know you gotta get lit at the open bar, you know what I'm saying? Like, can't go to an open bar wedding and not get absolutely turned, you know? Last night was so fun. Weddings are so fun. I understand like why those like in the movie Wedding Crashers like those guys would get addicted to that. Always just such a good time. All right, I'm just gonna pour up a little no-name brand cola. Oddly enough, the cheap shit is like, I really like the taste of it. Pour this up and then let's tell the story about this hookup situation. So this is a bunch of years back now. Uh, some of you guys know that I work uh, for at the Blue Jays games. So I was working at the Blue Jays game one night. And I'd already worked my other job that day too as well. So between the two, I just had like a pocket full of cash. It was like a Friday night. I got done the Blue Jays at like 10.30. And I was feeling pretty hype about my life. So I headed out of work and my boy hit me on the text and was like, yo, come to this bar. And this is a bar that me and friends would always frequent it was pretty new at the time it was called Weldon Park and like it was just like a lot of young <clears throat> people uh, very good turn up spot um, just very like 
new and hipster and divey and popular and shit. So I roll through there. I'm feeling myself. I got a grip of money and like I'm just like having a time, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so during all of that or whatever, eventually I start like hanging out with this group of like three, four girls, like we're all just partying and having a good time we the the night ends or like it like comes to the end of the bar or whatever and um me and these girls are outside and uh this one girl in specific was like yo come back to the my friend's place we're gonna go keep drinking and hang out still And of course, I'm always down for that. I'm always down for the after party, the AP. I never know when to stop. I don't know when's enough because I'm terrible to myself. But at the same time, I'm just trying to have fun and live this life. You know what I mean? So, so we head back to this girl's house or apartment. These chicks were pretty young. Um, the one girl that was seemingly like more interested, I guess. Um, on the way there, she was weirdly walking backwards. I remember this is like a, kind of irrelevant, but it just was hilarious. And I, I always think about this memory. But there's like this like post where you can like lock your bike up to and it's only like three feet high and she was walking backwards and she walked right into the post and like bent her whole body backwards over this post and was like dying and was like doctor needs a doctor said i need a back iotomy kind of thing and i was just like we were just dying laughing when it happened she was like in pain but also she was just like wow this is hilarious i'm such an idiot So anyways, we're at the after place, hanging out for a while. Eventually I go to leave. And um, as I'm like trying to like leave, <coughs> the backbreaker girl like runs after me. I was like, where are you going? Where are you going? I was like, I'm out here. I just, I was late. Like, I'm just ready to go home. So she's like, no, you can't leave. You can't go. Uh, like, pushes me, kind of backs me into this corner and proceeds to, like, just throw herself at me. Like, just start to make it out with me and shit. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, okay, thought detected. And, like, cool. Like, I didn't know that this was going to happen. So I'm down. come up that cheese holy shit um and she was actually an indian girl and i'm super into like darker skin girls so i was like yeah i'm super down for this and uh she's like okay let's go back to my house so we made the jump over to her pad where we proceeded to hook up and do everything that you would. I remember uh, her bed was like all broken down and shit and her mattress was like falling between like in her frame cause like her slats were broken and just like her room just seemed like such a fucking like, she just seems like such like a, a wreck of a person in a sense. Just like you could tell that she just partied and like didn't give a fuck but Anyways, 
wake up in the morning. <clears throat> wake up in the morning. We're just like hanging out. So my phone was dead, and I was like, I just had to check something like on the internet. I don't know what, like an email or whatever. I just wanted to like know what time it is and da da da. So I'm like, yo, can I just? Do you mind if I just use your phone like to look at something real quick? And she's like, yeah, go for it. And uh, at some point, I'm like, do you mind if I go on your Instagram? Like, I don't know why. Like, I was just being like kind of half drunk and just being like, I'm gonna creep your Instagram or whatever. And she's like, yeah, sure, go for it. So I go on her Instagram, like the second picture in is her and this guy that I work with at the Blue Jays games. And like, I had just been with him the night before. And I'm like, yo, how do you know so-and-so? And she's like, that's my brother. And I was like, come on. Like, that's your brother. She's like, she's like, yeah, how do you know him? And I was like, oh, we work together at the Jays. And she's like, oh my God, that's ridiculous. She's like, she's like, why does everybody I know, I know, or like, where, <laughs> I think I heard exact words. Or why does everybody I hook up with know my brother? She's like, I can't ever escape this. She's like, everybody I've ever hooked up with seems to know my brother. So I'm like, this is hilarious. for years now I've been working with her brother being like holding this little secret of like I like smashed your sister and you know I obviously wouldn't ever really want to bring it up but it's always there in the back of my mind every time I talk to him like oh yeah but your sister like right in my head and so just finally the other night I was out after work at my like, my local like bar that I go to and he's there and like he's, we we're just talking, and da, da da, and then his friend rolls up beside him, and he's like, he introduced me to his friend. He's like, yo, this is so and so, and then he's like, like he knows that I know his sister as well, because as the years have gone on, like we were friends on Facebook and shit, and da 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 da, and um, so he knew that I knew his sister, but like he didn't know about the smash. But uh, his friend was like, when he was like, oh, he knows, he knows my sister as well, and and the friend like quickly inter. Jackson was like, uh, like he's like, oh, why did you smash her? And I was like, in that moment, I'm like, uh, if there's a time to finally like let this guy know that I did hit his sister, like it, it's right now, like it just why not? And I was just like, I just made this face, like I looked at him and I looked like, looked at him and I was like, yeah, <laughs> and and uh, the friend started laughing. He's, he's like, yeah, so sounds about right. And then I look at, like, him, and I'm like, sorry, man, like, just happened a bunch of years ago. And he's like, no worries at all, man. Like, he's like, my sister's a partier. She does whatever she wants to do. She's like, I don't care. Like, it's her life. Like, I'm, it doesn't matter. It's just, like, it's just hooking up. He's like, I don't really give a shit. And I was like, perfect. I'm glad you're not one of these guys who gets all mad when they find out that Somebody close, close to them smashed your sister, your younger sister as well. So he didn't do the protect, protective male brother thing where he freaked out and tried to fight me and some shit like that. So we're cool. <clears throat> and it's all common knowledge now. So it's all good. Delicious. Too much food though. Stomach is not being able to handle it. Spice is getting to me a little bit. But yeah, hope you enjoyed that one. If you, if, I would say also just, I highly recommend trying these, this like style of recipe for these fries. Or tater tots or whatever they're called. But until the next one, you guys know what to do. You gotta eat good. You gotta live well. Let's stay true.